we have played um, two games. Uh, first of all, it's nice to be 2-0. I don't think I've been 2-0 at Auburn yet. Have I? Chuck? I See? There he is. Yep. Yeah. He's out. Right on the spot. Right on the spot. That was a football yeah. question. You got that. Yeah. Right off the bat. I don't think I've been 2-0. I think we've been So it's going to be 2-0. Um, individually, it was kind of fun to watch Jared Harper sort of take over. Um, and yet, Ronnie Johnson had five assists in one tournament. So got pretty good point guard play. Um, Dan Jill is uh, learned a lesson about, about foul trouble. People are going to go at him and try to get him in foul trouble because we're not nearly as good a team offensively without him. I thought that was T.J. Dunham's best game. Um, he did a lot of good things out there. Uh, makes us better. Uh, um, and I'd like to see that continue. Uh, Mustafa Aaron led us in rebounding, and you know, didn't make his first shot. So, boy, if he makes that first three, I think he feels a little differently about the next one. And, and, and you know, obviously we didn't shoot as well from three. Um, we have seen um, probably two minutes of man-to-man -man in 80 minutes of basketball. And we've seen every zone imaginable. One, three, one, and two, three, and matchups and things like that. And, I thought we were very stagnant in the first half, much better in the second half when it was front of the bench. And last thing is, it's, it's probably one of the better second half defenses we've had. If you look back historically, it's been a good first half defense, but the defense was really good away from us in the second half. Um, good team effort. Let's talk about Bernie. I mean, two games in a row, he's come in and been real productive. Who's that? Macklemore. Oh. Yeah, oh gosh, you know, Anthony is, um, you know, he, he uh, you can see the level of athleticism. It's just, it's different. He's just got that another notch. She's just got the next level. And so um, it was good to see. And, and, and we are, um, we're a fairly, even though we play fast, we're a fairly complex system. Um, there's a lot to learn because we press. And we press on the underbats got out of bounds. And how many people do that? And we guard very multiple defensively, particularly in a man-to-man. -man. Um, and there's a lot of stuff offensively. So I've thrown a ton at this team really, really early. And we kind of slop through a lot of it. But, but I'm very pleased. With, I'm very pleased. I thought we had great effort and energy. Uh, we do a little better job in the free throw line in the first half. I thought going in with the, at halftime with the lead, having Dan Jell only played three minutes, was really significant. Reese, you, you talked about getting rebounding up and down the lineup, and you get that a lot, a lot of guys, four or five rebounds. Um, how, I mean, obviously, that's something you're looking for out of these guys, right? Well, you know, we talked about Horace and Laron only had one defensive rebound to combine, but we asked them to check out and keep their guy off the boards and have the guards rebound down. It's, it's, it's still one of our weaknesses for sure. Reese, you, said, you just said you run complex stuff, especially defensively. Jared is a very smart player. He picks up on everything really quickly. And in addition to his quickness and his skill and his you know, ability to sort of take the game over, he's such a quick study that he's able to play with so much more freedom than a lot of the other players who are just trying to learn it. He's got, he's got a mind for spacing and where everybody's supposed to be on the floor. When we run a play, he knows why we're running that play. And he understands it, which is a rare, which is rare. Seems like Jared just had a feel for when he needed to take over the game. He did. He did. And um, he's a tough cover. Um, the fact that he can get to the foul line, you know, he'll do a better job of making tough twos. And yet I go back to you know, Ronnie Johnson, five assists, one turnover. So while Jared you know, you could, like I said, you're going to want to buy a ticket to come watch him play. And I don't think he's disappointed anybody. But Jared, but Roddy also, you know, to have five assists in 13 minutes, really solid out there. Everybody good?